spectrum of the Table Club Ancona on Saturday. The Bianconeri are joint top of the Serie A with AC Milan. Ancona have uh, picked up just one point from their opening five games and fired coach Leonardo Menacini. New boss Neto Sonetti has had two weeks to work with the side, but they're still struggling as they were 3-0 losers to Udinese that in the last round of play. Uh, Juventus in white, and they had a quarter quick in the 29th. The ball is sent wide. Ancona can't clear the zone, and the strike gets through. And watch this. Vincenzo Somesi was the last line of defense. Too bad he was behind the line. Uh, so Maisy with the handball, but Juve do get this as a goal. Fabrizio Micoli getting credit. 1-0 Juventus. Yes, over the line and the handball as well. Just before the break, another corner this time from the other side. Antonio Conte with a smart pass. Gianluca Zambrotta makes it 2-0 on the super strike as he beats Alessio Scarpi. Zambrotta with space to set up and he'll hammer it high to the left side. 2-0 Juve. And it certainly looked like they were on their way. It was 2-0 at the half. Second half, Juve would make it a three-goal lead. Zambrata with the cross from the left side. Mikoli the goal. 48th minute, second of the game. Zambrata with the nice cross just over the heads of the defender. And Mikoli with the header. He almost got kicked in the head for his uh, problems, but instead he gets a nice kiss from Marco De Vallo. Ancona would pull one back from a quick taken corner. Maurizio Ganz with the cross. William Viali with the redirect as he beats Gianluigi Buffon. That made it 3-1 in the 56. Ancona did not give up the fight. Ganz receives and then goes down the right side and goes far side on Buffon. 3-2 with the goal in added time. Ancona had a goal disallowed earlier in the second half. They outplayed Juve in the second half, but Juve did enough that to secure the three points with a 3-2 win at Del Cornero. Substitute Julio Cruz. This is AC in dark. First uh, half, 37th minute. Cafu with the hard strike. He stopped, but the rebound isn't cleared. And AC just keeps cracking shots. And finally, Andrea Pirlo would score to make it 1-0 AC Milan. On the replay, you'll see Cafu with the hard shot, and keeper Angelo Peruzzi makes the save. Andrei Shevchenko hooks it. People and Zaghi stopped by Mihailovic. And while people was crying for the handball, Pirlo would score. And this was the only goal of the game. The win for Milan keeps them level on points with Juve as they won 3-2 on Saturday. 1-0 the final at the San Siro. A.S. Roman Dark versus Parma. Fourth minute off the corner. The cross, uh, Francesco Totti, the header. Somehow it's kept out at Mielsen with the chance and the rebound, and he just puts it over the bar. Keeper Sebastian Frey with plenty of traffic to deal with as Totti is stopped by the keeper. But look at Ed Mielsen with the header that loops over the bar. Another angle, uh, Frey keeps Roma at bay. Uh, he was a busy man, the French keeper. Roma were back in the 28th. Daniel De Rossi down the left side. He'll pass inside to Walter Samuel. 1-0 for A.S. Roma. Samuel with his first in the City A this season. Nice control by De Rossi as he gets away from two Parma players and slides it across. The Argentine defender, Samuel, arriving from the back to make it 1-0 and 1-0 at the half. Second half, Roma would score again. And again, it's De Rossi, the playmaker, with the cross to the far side. Antonio Cassano, the header. That makes it 2-0. The looping header caught Frey flat-footed, no doubt about it. Cassano with the goal in the 60th. Parma suffered their first loss of the season at Stadio Olimpico. 2-0 was the final versus A.S. Roma. Calcio, vamos al Estadio San Siro, el cual fue llenado por más de 62,000 fanáticos. El árbitro central, Salvatore Racalbuto, iniciaba las hostilidades. El primero en producir a la ofensiva era la Lazio. El toque ese era de Corrobi. El de Stankovic estaba metiendo. Sin embargo, el árbitro marcaba un inexistente fuera de lugar. Seguimos 0 por 0. Capú respondía así. Soltaba Peruzzi. Serie de rebotes. Y es Andrea Pirlo con la pierna derecha quien marcaba el 1 por 0 el minuto 38. Analice usted cuántos tocan ahí. Primero Chevchenko. Después aparece Inzaghi, el que rechazó ver a Mihailovic. Y bien estaba colocado Andrea Pirlo. Fuerte tuvo el rosonero. Otra más. Kaká abre para Chevchenko. Andri revienta el palo. El balón le va a quedar al brasileiro. Y sobre la raya le están escupiendo el disparo. Sin embargo, la victoria fue final para Milán sobre la Lazio 1 0 Llegan a 16 puntos. Y por referencia de goles, son sus líderes detrás de la Juve. En el fútbol de 